Hi guys, Anthony back again for another episode of Hell Dominance. Thank you so much for watching. It's my birthday today, so come on, subscribe, like, subscribe, click that notification bell. My birthday. Coming up, War of the Roses, PDRL style. And Wakefield confirmed two signings and two re-signings for 2022 and beyond. So there have been a couple of announcements coming out of uh, Wakefield Trinity. One that we thought was going to happen, but another one was a little bit of a surprise to be fair. As Wakefield Trinity's plans, uh, police to announce uh, the signing of Liam Hood and Tom Lynham. Hood, who is currently playing his trade for Lisa Jurians, has enjoyed a healthy spell on the uh, Tigers' side this term, and has signed a two-year deal. where. Tom Lynham, who's featured against Trinity from Watt Warrington yesterday, has signed on for three years, um, ending on 2024. Lynham has played a vital role in Warrington's resurgence over the recent years and helped the club win their first Challenge Cup since 2012, as well as making two Grand Final appearances. It they will, the two will hook up uh, with their Trinity teammates for the start of the 2022 season and the pair cannot wait to get started. Wakefield is a really tough place to go and the club have some great skillful players who bring a good brand of rugby, explains Lynham. That is something that really appeals to me and hopefully I can come in with the group and th with new players, coaches, and constantly continue to develop my game. It's a new challenge, and one I'm really excited about. Bud, however, was a little bit more pragmatic. I'm buzzing, to be honest. I live in Wakefield, so it's nice to be closer to home. I feel that I'm probably playing the best rugby league in my career, and at the moment, I'm 30 in January. So I believe that I'm coming into my prime now and playing at my best. I'm just looking forward to getting there to the Mobile Rocket Stadium and ripping in. And these are just the start of the signings as two uh, current members of the Wakefield Trinity squad have decided have decided to join up for another uh, few years with the Wakefield team as. Reese Lynn and Brad Walker have signed extended contracts for the Wakefield Trinity side. Lynn, who has signed up until the end of 2025, recently made his 200th Trinity appearance and will add to his already impressive eight years in the red, white and blue. After starting his career at the Black and Whites of Hull FC, Lynn has made his Wakefield debut in 2013, establishing himself as a consistent performer over the past decade. A fresh deal will take Lynn into 10 years at the Mobile Rocket Stadium, something he has enormous pride in achieving. To be able to continue with Wakefield is really pleasing and extremely excited, uh, said Lynn. I would like to thank Michael and the board for the faith they've shown in me. I have been here for nine seasons now and loved every minute of it. As a person and a player, I have evolved massively and I owe the club a great deal for all that, which is one of the reasons why I have committed for longer. Walker, on the other hand, is one of the more recent additions to the Trinity setup, having signed from Witness Vikings in 2020. The 23-year-old has wasted no time in staking his claim for a starting spot, however, uh, and has become a regular name on the team sheet in recent weeks. With the contract signed and sealed up until the end of 2022, the versatile forward is hoping to maintain his fine form heading into the end of the year of the campaign. I'm made up to get the deal over the line, said Walker. I just wanted as much game time as possible so I'm really enjoyed it in recent weeks I now want to continue that and I will be working as hard as ever to for that to happen no matter where I play I will try my best and continue to enjoy it so on the whole I'm delighted to be staying Uh, 
and something excellent happened on Sunday the 16th of August as Lancashire versus Yorkshire played each other in a PDRL origin series that is physical disability rugby league and it was a spectacle with an unfortunate ending uh, with the game so for those who don't know um, physical disability rugby league is what it is it's people with physical disabilities playing a contact sport it's great for building the team's morale getting the ethic getting those that have been told they can't do something to do it it's getting a bit more serious as there is an international committee now that have implemented new rules like a points based system for levels of disability and to be on the pitch at all one time I think it's five for this three for another and one for one more and they work up of points those points to a certain total so fulfilled the 11 like the 11 players that are on the pitch at any one time so give you some idea um, there are people that have amputations um, involved in the game people with brain trauma um, brain injuries as well and also um, birth birth other normalities anyway so um, you're wondering how can people with brain injuries play rugby league as a contact sport well what they do is they identify those players early and they designate themselves and they come up with and physical disability have come up with um, a system where those players are only allowed to be tagged and they identified as those players with different coloured shorts they have to be very different colours of the strips that are wearing because one team may have black shorts on and the other team may have white shorts on just have the different colour shirts and then two swap teams swap the colour shorts we're done and people keep a running identity of that plus those players um, if they tag you that counts as a tackle but it's tag rugby involved in the physical side anyway so that gives you a bit of an outline of what it is uh, but they're not playing to the full rules the point system is yet to implement it so 90% of the game is being played at these new international rules so let's go into a re the review of the actual game so here are the two teams first of all Lancashire playing at home uh, uh, Michelle Melling, the head coach, has named Tony Stewart uh, at fullback, with Ben Stewart and Adam Hills on the wing, with Peter Clark and Tom Bayliss in the centres, uh, Sam Zeller and Barry Whaley in the halfbacks, with Adam Morris, Jamie Bennett, Mike Addison, and Nathan Jerzyski um, in the forward pack. And the starting lineup for Yorkshire. Head coach Dan Roberts has named Connor Lines at fullback with Nick Kennedy and Chris Young on the wings. Uh, Scott Gobin and Callum Parkinson in the centres with uh, Fleming and Dean at, at the half backs. Nicholson, Colborn, Palsy, and Horner make up a big pack for the Yorkshire side, and we're expecting a heavy direct play from them so first of all it was all Yorkshire going to the attack and they, first, they were the first ones that nearly scored after a Corbin break um, was not uh, taken in by the number 5 for the Yorkshire side but not long after that Tommy Pouncey was on the was the first try scorer of an, a physical disability origin game after scoring from a quick tap play the ball um, to score right of the post uh, around about 10 meters in from the touchline to give a score of 4 0. Unfortunately, the kicker, Dean, uh, Darren Dean, was not able to convert this try. 
but not longer after he was given a another chance after a great rampaging run from Scott Golbin finds space in the back line and as he's being closed back by Lancashire fullback Tony Seward um, he passes inside for his number nine uh, Mick Colburn who scores under the posts that gives Dean the easy conversion and Yorkshire go into the lead at 10 nil and it's a thoroughly deserved lead that they capled up until half time just to let you know that Adam Hills, the comedian, was supposed to play in this game and was in it for most of the first half, but he went off quite a, a, a after about 15 minutes of the first half as he was suffering from a hamstring injury and did not return, unfortunately. I wouldn't be the only person that had a bad injury during this game, I must admit. In the second half, Yorkshire up their game. Uh, sorry, Lancashire up their game, and nearly got one back on the left-hand side through Stuart Ryder. But unfortunately, he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't recover the ball when when passing when being passed to. But Lancs were up, were on the up, and as they worked the right-hand side of the Yorkshire defence, an offload in the tackle by Morris was passed further out wide by uh, Sam Zeller and found Ben Shu uh, Seward, who scored in the left-hand corner. Unfortunately, Barry Whaley missed this conversion, but the scores are now 10 points to 4. Darren Dean of Wakefield found some space uh, after Yorkshire got the ball back from the kickoff, um, and under the tagged rules, um, white shorts being tagging, tag tackles in defence and attacks, and um, stop the resulting attempt of a try for Yorkshire on two attempts first by Gobin and the second by John Humphreys Jr. It, um, this was either position neither accurately for a tag player to be out there or just by sheer luck uh, they got away with that one I'm afraid. Um, in the following set for Lancashire some awesome footwork by Sam Zeller gave him a route to the backfield and the number six put on the afterburners and scored an absolutely amazing try left of the posts he could have made it a little bit easier for his uh, for his kicker as Whaley unfortunately missed this conversion also and you, that meant Yorkshire still led 8-0 Yorkshire hit back though in their next set as Dean carries the ball to the Yorkshire line and passes to Gobin who scores his try with Dean adding the extras 16-8 to give Yorkshire that two try lead but after a deep kick from uh, Dean uh, on their next set of six was fielded by Tony Seward near his own line Bravely, I must have must have backed as he was a tag player. And Lanks again worked the ball to their left hand side, attacking the Yorkshire right. But Ben Seward uh, to um, get the ball in the Lanks 30, which gave him a bit of space. And first, he worked his way, his pace down the left hand side, and handed off the ball back Chris Young uh, to go back inside towards the post. And Young on the recovery was taken out by a slipping Yorkshire teammate Callum Parkinson for a run that was free to for Seward under the sticks. The two points were added by Lancashire and it was given a 14 points to 16 lead to Yorkshire. They were well back in it. <sighs> Turn of a tail. But unfortunately our action ends there as the game was paused due to an injury and was eventually stopped to the Yorkshire player, player who I think was number 16 John Humphreys uh, at the time and was confirmed was John Humphreys that was under the, sick, on, under the tackle, um, was under heavy heavy treatment. I do have to say that um, I spoke to one of the Yorkshire players uh, today about the game and that was Tommy Pouncey and 
uh, the try scorer, the first try scorer for the NA, uh, for the physical disability rugby league game. Um, he told me that it was a suspected broken pelvis for Humphreys Jr., but later confirmed as a dislocated hip, which, Chelsea said, was lucky. He's under a under um, a specialist care, hopefully now, but I'm not sure. Um, he has he had them to hear too much more about it. But John Humphreys Jr., hopefully the injury isn't too bad. Um, uh, we wish you all the well. But speaking of Mr. Pouncey, um, when he went barging over for his try in the first half, the first try, he ran over two Lancashire would be tacklers. And one of those, Barry Whaley, kicker, who carried on with a suspected broken wrist. <laughs> so, yes. Um, unfortunately, the game was stopped early for uh, John Humphrey's injury. Uh, and also, Mr. Whaley, I wish you really, really well and a speedy recovery for any injuries that you, you guys may may not have. Um, but thank you all for this great spectacle. I, I know it finished early, five minutes early, with Lancashire on the four, on the forward march, but um, I do hope that we see this more and more as it is really needs these forums and different people looking in thank you once again guys and thank you for a great game and that's it guys thank you very much for watching this on my birthday I will accept all your well wishes in the comments below please remember just for fun is there um, let me know what your thoughts are on these formats. Please keep coming with the comments. I do appreciate everyone's interest in my videos. And I love those for watching. Keep continuing watching as there'll be more videos starting with tomorrow. But in the meantime, all the best. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video.